Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see the tool called Pathfinder. To find the Pathfinder, we should go over Window, Object and Layout, Pathfinder. I have it here already as a floating panel and then let's isolate it so we can play with it in a more comfortable way. As you can see, the Pathfinder menu has different categories. Paths, Pathfinder, Convert, Save and Convert Point. Every single category has different features. Not all features are equally important, so I will try to highlight here the most remarkable ones. In the first category, called Paths, the first option maybe is the more important. It is called Join Path and if we read the label, it is said connects two endpoints. So let's draw firstly two paths, one here, a stroke 10, and let's draw another independent path on here, a stroke 5. Selection tool, we select both paths and then we hit the tool join paths. As you can see, the tool has joined both paths through another new path and the stroke of this new path has been the thickest one. So this tool is kind of useful. Imagine now that we want to close this path. Once selected, we hit the tool again and now we have a closed shape, right? Easy. Next tools are as well very easy to use. Next one is called open path. The description says opens a closed path. Let's use for example this shape we have right now on the page. It is already a closed path. So once selected, if we hit it, it seems that nothing happened. But if we look carefully to the anchor points, there is a new anchor point in the lower left corner in blue color. This means that something happened here. Actually, the closed path was broken. And this means that we have here an open shape. The direct selection tool is already hit. So if I click on this anchor point and I move it, we can check how we have broken up the closed path. Once this shape is open and it is selected, we could use as well this third option, closed path. One click on it and our shape is again closed. Easy. Let's use now the third option. It is called reverse path. The label says changes the direction of a path. This tool can be used when we have, for example, an arrow, one arrow like this, for instance, and then we hit the tool and we are changing the direction of the path, right? Easy. Let's jump to the next category called Pathfinder. In my opinion, without any doubt, this category is the most important one in this menu because it allows us to create new shapes by simple operations as adding shapes, subtracting shapes, intersecting shapes, etc. etc. Let's see how it works. I will draw here a cycle in magenta color and one rectangle just defined by the stroke. When we are working with the Pathfinder, it is important to know which entity is in front and which entity is behind. In this example on this page, the rectangle is in front, right? So let's keep that in mind. Anyways, let's use the first option called Add. The label says combines selected objects into one shape. The thumbnail is very clear. So we have just to select both items and hit the tool. And here we are. We have just one shape with the properties of the entity that was placed in the top position. In this case, the rectangle just defined by the stroke. Control set, one step back, and then let's do the same. But this time I will select first the cycle, right click, arrange, bring to front. Now the cycle is placed in the top. If I repeat the same operation by selecting both items and click on add, as you can see now, the result is a new shape, but this time with the properties of the cycle. One step back, control set, and Let's use the second tool called Subtract. As you can see in all the thumbnails, the element with the fill is the one 
which is gonna remain after the operation. So this time the cycle is gonna subtract part of the rectangle, right? Let's do it. I select both items, one click on subtract and here we are control set third option intersect if we check the thumbnails we know that the fill is the area which is gonna remain after the operation so just the common area between these two shapes is gonna remain let's do it i select both objects and i click intersect and here we are control set and let's jump to the next one exclude overlap checking the thumbnail we can see how the result is gonna be exactly the opposite of before just the areas which are not shared are gonna remain after the operation let's do it exclude overlap and here we are control set and let's use this last option called minus back the description says subtract the backmost objects from the frontmost of let's click it and here we have the result the rectangle was placed behind and that shape has been the one subtracting a piece of the cycle which was placed in the front so summing up this pathfinder tool is going to be super super useful when we want to create new shapes through different objects anyways let's jump to the next category called convert shape again the thumbnail gives us a big clue about what is going to happen we can see different shapes converted into a rectangle into a rounded rectangle into a beveled rectangle etc etc so we have just to select our shape and then click on our desired new shape in this case the first option is a rectangle i hit it and then we have a rectangle if i continue hitting the different tools now is a rounded rectangle or if i hit this option corners have been cut let's continue exploring the different shapes we can even convert the shape into an ellipse or a triangle a polygon etc etc this polygon actually is not a polygon it's a kind of a star and this is because if i go to the polygon tool is here and i click it twice i open the polygon settings menu and then here the settings are number of sides seven a star inset 70 percent this tool is taking these settings from this menu and then the result is this kind of stuff if i change these settings we have a pentagon here which is a kind of polygon we can go again to rectangle and then if i hit polygon again we have the pentagon going back to the rectangle Take in mind that all of these transformations are basically the same as if we use this little yellow box. Remember, when I hit it, it gets multiplied and goes to the corners. And then, and then if I hit and drag, I start making transformation into my geometry. Furthermore, if I hold down Alt key and I hit the yellow box, we have different shapes of our geometry. This tool of the Pathfinder is working with the same pattern. Let's finish the class exploring the last category called Convert Point. Thanks to this tool, we will be able to change corner points into soft points and soft points into corner points. Example, I hit the direct selection tool, shortcut A key. I select this anchor point holding down shift key. Once my anchor point is in blue color, it means it is selected. Then I hit this third option, smooth. The anchor point now is a soft anchor point. If I wanna do the reverse operation, then once the curved anchor point is selected, I just have to hit one of these two first guys. One click on the first one, and then my anchor point is again a corner anchor point. There is not a big difference between the first two and the third and the fourth. The first two are gonna convert soft points into corner points and the third and the fourth one are gonna convert soft points into corner points. Remember anyways that you can do the same using the pen tool. If I click and hold here we can add anchor points, delayed anchor points and then we have this fourth tool called convert direction point tool. If I hit it and I click on this guy, I click and drag, then the corner point 
right now has been transformed into a soft point. If I hit it again using the same tool, then it becomes a corner point again. So we have already an overview of this Pathfinder tool. We will use it in the future with more specific exercises. Time to say goodbye and I hope to see you in the next episode.